Okay, so I'm back with my second video. I decided to go ahead and post it because I got such good feedback from the first one. So I decided to post the second one. And this video is just basically gonna be me introducing my addiction <laughs> slash my collection from uh, my old job, Henry Bindle. Um, I have several backpacks and fanny packs so i'm just gonna like show you guys which ones i have and i can't i don't really have a favorite i guess because i, I love them all but um i'm just gonna be showing you guys those so let's get into that so my first one well let me show you the one of the first ones i got and that's this one so this is the um the west 57th travel backpack and it's in the color canteen and this is like well, this was one of my first ones and i got it about two years ago and i put a little patch on it and then it has rh which is my initials for richard harris and all my bags have like keychains on them all of them and they're off well most of them are from like henry bindle but yeah this is one of my first ones and it fits on the back of your suitcase so this unzips and you can put it like on the back I love this color a lot. I was kind of talked into it, but I do like it a lot. And unfortunately it's closed, so I can't like make any suggestions to you guys because the company's no longer existing. So there's that, <laughs> which is very sad for me because like I said, I love my job and I loved all the backpacks. But um, and each bag comes in a little dust bag to keep it like, you know, safe from the conditions of the outside world. <laughs> Um, my second one was this amazing red, and this one is in, it's the same West 57th travel backpack, and it's in the color Chili Pepper, and this one, I actually got a blue one like this, but I wanted the red one, so I swapped it out, and this one has a little Leather March Jacob P5 on it, I don't remember where I got that from, and then this one has... Like I said, I like to honor, I like to honor my dad in several ways. So this one has Roman on it. So it says RMN because it couldn't put the whole last name. But this is one of my favorite ones too. Ugh. Let me see. I don't know which one I got next. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, which one did I get next? I'm not sure the, the uh, order I got them, but I'll show, um, I'll show like the ones that are in the set, cause I have multiples of the same style. So I'll just show like the styles, like I'll do that. So this is another West 57th travel pack. And again, these go over like the handle of your suitcase. This one I got when we closed, it was my last purchase. And this is like the, it's called the Centennial Stripes. And it's like the classic brown and brown, little chocolate brown specifically and white stripes. And it has a little building. This in New York is a company based in New York. It has a little T5 on it, of course. And the straps are chocolate brown. I don't know when or where I'm gonna use this, but I had to have it because I love the company so much. But this is one of my, this is definitely one of my favorite ones. Like I said, I've never used it because I just got it, but it's definitely one of my favorites. And each backpack has a story behind it. As far as if someone got it for me, I got it because, yeah. My friends know I love these bags. Love them. Um, this one I got because we were closing and I really, really liked it and I wanted like kind of like a travel bag. So I was like, okay, well I'll just get this one. And my friend actually ordered it for me because I couldn't at the moment. I was so excited about it. And this is like a, like a crossbody kind of travel duffel. It's called the Studio Nylon Drawstring Bag. And it came in red and gray, but the black one is like my favorite. So I would use this like, I'm going on a trip towards the end of the month, so I'm taking this with me for like the airport. And I really like this one. So this is necessarily a backpack, it's not like a crossbody duffel kind of thing. It's like a gym bag almost, but I really love this. And again, all, all of my bags come in like dust bags, so. Somebody told me that you're supposed to like take them out and let them 
let the leather breathe. I don't know how true that is. If somebody knows anything about that, you can comment below and let me know. And it's funny because everybody I know has a bag from there or like something from there because of me. So it's kind of funny how that works. I was just saying I can't go anywhere without like seeing stripes. <laughs> now this one, this is one that I've always loved. This is one of their classic bags that they've always had like almost since the company opened. This is called a Jet Setter Backpack. And again, I have my initials RH. I don't have initials on all of them, just a few of them, but it's a backpack. The straps are on the inside because they hook across like this. It's a, um, a convertible backpack. It has the pockets and then all jet setters have like a little lock on it. And then all of them also have, I don't know if you can see it, has like this bright neon like purple on the inside. Whether it's a backpack, the purse, the crossbody, they all had that purple on the inside, which I thought was amazing. It is one of my favorite things about the jet setter. But this one I would also use for like travel, more so probably like road trips. I can feel, it's huge, you can fit a lot of stuff in it. Like a lot, it's really big. So I love that one. I actually bought it and then I returned it because I wasn't sure about it and then I wanted it again. And when they announced that we were closing, I'm like, okay, I'll just get it because we're closing. And I liked it too, so that's how that went. Okay, this one is also one of my absolute favorites. This one I was on the fence about for the longest, like for the absolute longest, but I love, I love the color, I love the style, I just, I love it. And this is the, just the regular West 57 backpack. So it's not the travel, it's just the regular West 57 backpack. And it's like a, the color is evening primrose. And what I thought was really cool about this one is, if you look up the color, it's literally an evening primrose, like the exact same color as the flower. So I thought it was cute. And something you'll learn about me very fast, I, for whatever reason, I love pineapples. The shapes, the colors, like, they remind me of, like, peace and vacation, so I love pineapples. So this one has a pineapple keychain on it, and the little sun that says hot stuff on the glasses. I just, I love this color. I don't know why, but this is definitely one of my favorites. I used this a lot last summer, and it will definitely be getting used this summer, too. I don't know why I love it. It's just such a, like, a happy color. And I was so glad because I've gone in stores recently. And literally, this color has been brought back. So I'm like, yes, I can use it again. Not that I wasn't going to anyway, but yeah. So this is one of my favorites too. Oh, and I have a little scarf that goes on it, but I don't know if I'll put that one on it. Anytime soon, at least. Um, so like I said, I have some backpacks I have in multiple colors in the same style. So in that same style, I have the, and I'm currently using it right now, which is why it's open. <laughs> the black one in the West 57. And this one has a little puff ball I got off of a phone case on Amazon. And it has a little key fob with the RH on it from Henry Bindle. And then they used to have these crystal R's that I got from like when I first started shopping. And I put that one on here as well. And it's like Swarovski crystals. I don't know if you can see it. One of them fell out. I was so upset about that. Um, but yeah, I really like the black one. It's kind of like more everyday. And then I put a little patch on the back of a taxi. And it says HB on it. I, lo I love... Okay, so I also love taxis. Because when I was younger, my grandmother got me an um, a ornament from Bloomingdale's. And it had a taxi on it. So ever since then, I've like always loved taxis. So that's kind of like symbolic for me. Like I said in like the last video... I'm very sentimental about certain things, so that's a little tidbit. <laughs> um, so this one is also a West 57 backpack. My mother got this one for me for my 23rd birthday. So my birthday was Friday, so she got this one for me. And my friend Taylor actually helped her get me this backpack. And I like love it. So like, like I said, the company closed January 19th. And this they put this on the website. This backpack is three years old. And I wanted it when I first saw it, when I first started working there two years ago, because it was still there from a year before, and I never got it. So one of my friends, I was on the phone with one of my friends, Medina, and she was like, well, uh, look at the backpack that's online. I was like, what? Because a lot of this stuff was like getting taken off and put it back on way too fast. So I went back on and I saw this one and I was like, 
I want that. And I'm, I'm also black for Native American, so it reminds me of like paint. And this is it. It's like navy blue and then it has patterns on like different uh, shades of blue on it. And then I got, since my mom got it for me, she's like, so my full name is Richard A.R. Harris, but I don't use the two middle names. But my mom is like big on my names because each name, each person I'm named after meant something to her. So because she got me this, I got R-A-R-H on it. I don't know if you can like see it a little bit. This is silver, so it's hard to tell. So I got that on this one. And then I got a little poof ball from like Old Navy during like Black Friday and I never knew like what I was gonna put it on, but it like worked with this perfectly. So I was like, yeah, but I love this one a lot. I haven't used it yet because I have the perfect summer outfit for it. So I'm waiting, but I love this backpack a lot. So that's all of the West 57 ones. Now, since we're on the topic of not topic, but like category of gifts as far as backpacks that were given to me by me. This next one was given to me by my best friend. We don't usually give each other Christmas gifts. And again, we both have, it's kind of sentimental <laughs> because we both like uh, blue. Blue is both of our favorite colors. And um, I never like, um, like I said, we don't really get each other gifts. And the fact that he knew I loved the brand, it was closing. And I, I wanted this backpack when it came out last summer. And I never got it. He got it for me. meant a lot to me. So it's this one. And this one is called the Harper Backpack. And it's color blocked. It was part of a color block collection. So it's white. And then the straps are like blue and then white on the other side. And so is the handle. And then because he's my best friend, he got it for me. I got BFF monogrammed on it. And I thought that was like kind of cute. And she did a really good job. I, I like love this backpack. I also have a good outfit for this in the summer and I can't wait to wear this. It has little feet on it, so it doesn't necessarily have to touch whatever you sit it on. But this is definitely one of my favorites. I just, I love this color. It's like not a royal blue, but it's like an ocean blue. It's just really summery. So I was very appreciative of that. And I know I've said like a few of my female friends name, that's just a few of them, but I have like two main male friends. So if I'm saying my best friend, I'm talking about one of them. It's, I don't need to say their names, they'll come up soon. <laughs> but um, yeah, as you can tell, I like the brand a lot and it was really upsetting that it closed. And you can actually Google the reason it closed. I won't really say that because I don't know if I'll get in trouble for saying it. I mean, it is public information, but just in case, so that's up to you guys whether you want to look that up or not. Um, okay, so as far as like another gift, another one of my friends got me this one. So this is the Cabria convertible backpack. And I got the little keychain because I thought it was cute. Little key five rather. Um, so this one again, the straps are on the inside and inside of the backpack and they hook here and here. And this is, this one I really like because it's suede right here. And the, 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 the colors of, the names of the colors, I'm sorry, <laughs> that Henry Bindle has are so unique to me. Like, and that, that was one thing that got me like the evening primrose, like the backpack my mother got me was inside blue. This one is called Trench. The Harper backpack my best friend got me was Princess Blue. So it was like, the names are so pretty and specific. I really like that a lot. But this one is suede and then leather all the way around. And it looks like the old school, like news carrier bags or backpacks. So I really, really like this a lot. And again, one of my friends got this for me. I think it was Taylor that got this for me. And I like it a lot. This one also has like the feet on the bottom. So I love this one. I don't use it a lot because it had got a little dirty at one point. So I was like, we're not doing that. We're going to put that one up. <laughs> um, so I have another Cabria convertible backpack. And that one is black. Okay. So this one again is also the Cabria backpack. And this one I got myself. And it's the, one of the things I think I'm going to miss about the company the most was, like I said, I want to study fashion. So like every month we had a new collection. 
I miss like getting the, it was called the new and the next. It was like a catalog where it would have the colors of the season and like the styles and stuff from our brand and other ones. It was really informative and I feel like I had like an in on like the fashion industry and what was coming up and what fashion was looking at. So I'm gonna miss that a lot too. But this one is the Cabrilla Convertible Backpack in black. And the one thing I like about this, it is kind of a patent leather, but in certain lighting, it looks like it has like a rainbow kind of shimmer to it, just a little bit. And again, the straps are in, inside the backpack. But I like this. this I, got, I got this one before I got the trench one. And this one is just, the color is just black. But I really like this one a lot. Like it's very professional to me. So when I want to wear a backpack, but still kind of be professional. It still has that news carrier, like briefcase kind of vibe to it. So... I was like, yeah, I like this one. I wanted to get it monogram, but I felt like the leather was too soft. And I didn't want it to burn. And like I said, I loved the leather one so much, like the patent leather look. So I got this one because I have another backpack that I'm gonna show you that I got before this one that has the same kind of leather on it. And that one is this one, which is called the About Town backpack. And this one has the same leather on it. It is black and it's a little smaller. And the stripes are, I mean, the straps are color blocked with the uh, brown and white, brown and chocolate, chocolate brown and white Centennial stripes. And it also has chains on it. And I always said, when I first started, they didn't have chains on backpacks. So I was like, if I ever get, if, if they ever get a backpack with chains on it, I'm getting it. So I got three, <laughs> but Two of them are about towns, and another one is another collection. You're gonna see that one last. Um, so yeah, I really like the chains and stuff on them. Like I love chain backpacks. Like I love Henry Bendel a lot, but that Chanel backpack with the chains on it, I like that one a lot. But a little bit out of my price point, but I like it a lot though. <laughs> um, so to stay in the same category, my other about town backpack. This one I like a lot. I love this one. It's this one. It is called. I don't remember the color. Let's see if it's still in here. And that's another thing. I stuff all of my backpacks so they keep the. Unless they're like hard leather, which a lot of them are not. I stuff them so it keeps the shape. Um. So like if they're like when they're stored in my closet, they're like if they're pushed up against each other, they're not gonna be smashed or anything. They're gonna be well taken care of. And the color of this is called easy enough paint splatter iridescent paint splatter so i don't know if you can tell the color but it's kind of like has that rainbow tint to it a little bit like a reflector kind of thing and then this came with like the so the last few collections had like a space theme so it has like the moon and then like this uh, planet on it and then each of these were hand painted so my best friend actually got his sister one and hers looks nothing like mine because they're hand painted so it's different like each one looks completely different which i love i think that's very awesome so it was also a little bit more than the regular black one again i got the same puff ball well not same puff ball but another puff ball from uh, old navy and this one i thought fit perfectly with the gray on this i thought that was cute and i love like the dark gunmetal like hardware on it i think that's really cute too so this is definitely one of my favorites and then it also has chains on it as well in that same metal and i think that's so dope i actually don't use this one a lot either because i don't want to mess it up but it's definitely one of my favorites as well and then my last one is so this this one is also like the jet setter is one that i've actually had forever but um it's also another classic the collection is, this is a newer version, but the collection is from, has been around since almost the beginning of the company. Again, the company's been around for, was around for 124 years. Um, it started in 1895, I believe. But this is called the um, 712. So, the 712 collection has like soap, cologne. I actually have the cologne too. And a few other items from it. But, um... Yeah, so I love this backpack a lot, and this also has chains on it. So, another fact for those who are going to say, oh, it looks like Chanel. It does. So, Henry Bindle and Coco Chanel worked together. 
when she first started, he brought her front to the United States for her first fashion show. So he's one of the reasons that she's actually in, she, her brand is in the United States because of him. So they work together. That's why he has like chains on his stuff and she does. And then they both have like the quilted leather. It's just a little different, but that's where that stems from. And this one has like a, a powdered silver hardware, which I love and the HB on it. And then it also has chains on it. So like I said, I got three chain backpacks that I thought was really, really cute. So this one I also don't use a lot because the leather is literally like butter. It scratches very easily. And I didn't want to like, you know, mess it up that fast. So. I haven't used this one yet, not yet, but in a while, so I might, I kind of might use this one, I don't know, I don't really go anywhere, like I said in my last video, I don't really do much, so I don't really have a use for some of the more professional ones, I have given a lot of them away as gifts, because I had like 17, and I only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 now, so I've given a few of them away to like my aunts and then friends and stuff. So that's that one. Um, now I have <laughs> three fanny packs from the brand. So the one I'm using right now, I don't know where I put it. Oh, it's right here. I actually don't know the name of this fanny pack. I, I really don't know the name. It might be Influencer. So we had this collection called the Influencer Collection that was basically all about personalization. And you could put like pins on it, your initials and that kind of stuff. So this has a little charm thing and it was the same pebbled leather that the Influencer Collection was. That's why I think that's what it might be. But it has a little charm thing for the Influencer like charm. So I could put like an R there or an H or whatever. Um, and it's shaped like a pill. And it has a lot of room in it. I'm not gonna open it because it's a mess. I'll do another video like what's in my bag or what's in my fanny pack video like later on. Um, and this one actually has the centennial stripes, the chocolate brown and the white stripes on the strap and I love that. It was one of the last few fanny packs that they launched so I thought this was really cute and it had the stripes so I had to get that one. And then I have this one which I love because blue is my favorite color but I love red too. And this is also a 712. So it's the same 712 collection like the black backpack I showed you. It has the same powdered silver hardware. And then um, it has chains on it as well. This one I don't use, I don't really wear on my, my waist because it's really, really small and I'm a bigger guy if you can't tell. <laughs> and um, so I normally like here to put it like across my chest or whatever, depending on what I'm wearing. Um, but I like this one a lot. Like I really love the color and this, this color is called True Red. Um, and it's just like the 712 belt bag. That's just the name of it. But when we were closing, I was like, okay, I only have one red backpack. I want something else that has red on it. So I was really happy to get this because it has red on it. Well, it, it, it came in red rather. It came in a black with gold hardware. That one was gorgeous, but I didn't get it. I should have, but I did not, unfortunately. And then my last one, which was the first fanny pack I actually ever purchased, was is the jet setter fanny pack and this one is so the jet setter came in leather nylon canvas and tweed as far as the material so this fanny pack is in the nylon that the other jet setter backpacks came in mine is all leather but they had the nylon one and that's this one so i don't know if you remember earlier in the video i said all jet setters have that purple on the inside regardless of what it is so this one has that same royal purple on the inside that the backpack has which i think is really cute and then this one just has like cloth straps it's very comfortable it's very spacious it's easy to get into so i like that a lot um see i have three fanny packs regardless of if they go out of style i'll still be wearing mine there is that um but yeah that was kind of quicker than i thought it would be but i just wanted to since the store just closed i wanted to like honor the store a little bit and show a few of my bags off and stuff like that so um yeah so this is gonna end up being my like, second video i think um but yeah so that is all it was wonderful sharing my backpacks with you guys i hope you enjoyed it and the little history lesson of henry bendel <laughs> but thank you for watching and i appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next video